Hey there, everybody. Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and you can see it. There it is. There's SwiftKey 3 and the brand new SwiftKey Flow. So we've been using it in beta for a couple days now. I want to give you a quick walk through it. It's actually super simple. It's not unlike the SwiftKey 3 that you've been using. You still have a ton of languages. And remember, you can use several at once. It still has all the same personalization, so it'll learn from Facebook and Gmail and Twitter if you want to give them those credentials and RSS and SMS. And there's the privacy policy down there, by the way, in case you're worried about that sort of thing. Uh, you can still theme it, so make it look a little different. Uh, you still have all these advanced settings, and I suggest you look through these, especially in the uh, spacebar section, if that bothers you how it handles things. Uh, and you can still get all your stats, and that's cool, and, and see how much time and uh, effort SwiftKey has actually saved you. But the important thing here is what's new with this keyboard. Now, it still looks the same, right? Still excellent keyboard, and I like that. And you can still type normally, so this is Swift Key Flow. Now, I have always enjoyed the way these keys look, uh, but the big thing here is prediction, right? So you see the predictive words there. But here's what's new, Flow, and you've seen this. It's uh, built-in swiping, continuous input, whatever you want to call it, and it's very colorful, and it looks cool, and it actually still predicts what you're typing, which obviously it has to do, right? Um, you know, a little bit of practice gets you going on this. It's not difficult at all. No weird gestures, no weird designs. You just go to the letters you want. But see, here's the really cool part. And this is with the space bar, right? Swipe down to the space bar and it will put in spaces like you, you know, would expect it to. Uh, the big deal here is you don't have to take your finger off the glass at all. Now, that's a good and bad thing, right? Because it kind of depends on what uh, material your phone is using in the display. Some displays are a little easier to swipe your finger across than others. This is the Nexus 4 and it's humid where I live, so it actually gets a little bit tacky. And you can see here I, I start uh, missing words every now and then. But that's not the keyboard's fault. It's actually the display, and, and part of it's how I'm holding it here for the uh, sake of the video. But swiping and the flow part of this is really, really good. And going down to the uh, space bar and not having to pick your finger up means, especially for short sentences, not a big deal at all. You can just bang them out. Uh, I'm about half and half, whether I'm using uh, tracing effect or whether I'm typing, but I'm getting pretty good at it. Settings are all still there. Voice input is all still there, as you would expect it to be. So all in all, a really good free update, by the way, boys and girls, so you're not going to have to pay extra for this. And really good swiping and, and trace input here in SwiftKey Flow. So go get it. Give it a shot. Give it a try. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Phil from Android Central, and if you want to help out the site and look good, go get the best damn Android t-shirt anywhere from shopandroid.com. Thank you.